if you want to get into some very advanced auto shapes, you can basically design your own auto shape. The best way to do that is go to auto shapes, lines, and there's three tools here, curve, freeform, and scribble. Again, I would warn you, these three shapes take a lot of practice to use, and you're probably not going to get it right the very first time. First is curve. When I click on curve, my mouse cursor turns into a plus sign. When I click and let go of the mouse button, I create a straight line. But when I click again and then move my cursor, it curves the line slightly. Then what I can do is I can click over here, it'll curve the line again, and then click again. And if you begin and end in the exact same spot, you can create an auto shape. Now this is a pretty deformed version of the Nike symbol, but you get the point. If I delete this, I could repeat again. Start or auto shapes, lines, curve. Every time I click, it creates a nice curved shape. Now you can basically design anything you want. I've seen students design wings for an angel or all the way to a guitar using this curved auto shape. Another auto shape looks just like it, except it's called freeform. And it works the same way. If I click and I let go of the mouse button, and I can create straight lines. Now, unlike the curve, it's not going to curve the line. It's going to keep the line very straight and narrow. And if I begin and end in the exact same spot, it creates a filled auto shape, which then I can rotate, double click, and change my settings to it. If I repeat again, auto shapes, lines, freeform. Now, the nice thing about freeform is, if I hold the mouse button in, my mouse turns into a pencil. I can then draw anything I want and then let go it's now back to the straight line. And so I could sort of begin and end and kind of take a break. Now you kind of only get one shot at this, but again, if you begin and end in the exact same spot, it'll fill the shape in. And then you can use it any way you'd like. The last one of these shapes is called scribble. If I click on that, it's almost like a freeform line drawing where you only get one chance to draw it. If I let go of the mouse button, it's over. I can draw just about anything I want. Uh, just by using this mouse. Now I'm just going to draw a basic ugly cat head. If I begin and end in the exact same spot, it'll fill the color in, which I could then use any kind of fill effect just like uh, in the past. Now, if I'm not happy with like this little area right here, I could right click and go to edit points. And I can drag these little squares in so that it can clean up the shape. And when I'm done, I click away from it. Now it looks slightly better. Uh, you can do that with any one of those three shapes. If you draw any kind of the free form, if you right click on it, you can go to edit points. And you can drag one out, or you can create a whole new point. And another new point. You can do this as endless as you want. Uh, so that's very advanced things to create in any kind of auto shape. So once you have a lot of practice using this, you can then create just about anything you want using these three shapes. Good luck.